Well, hello, and welcome to the home of the Iconoclasts. I'm Rose. Please take a pamphlet. In it, you'll find everything you need to know about Graham, his philosophist truths, and the Iconoclast way. He wrote it himself, you know. Oh, oh no, I'm so sorry. I keep forgetting. We're out of pamphlets. Gosh, blast it. Why, we're the only free people in Halcyon. No corporations, no shackles, no problems. Oh, those are just hurdles. We deal with them as they come. You're welcome to stay with us, so long as you can earn your keep. That's a nice way to think about it. Graham would be our father. I suppose Zora might make a good mother if the two of them could stop arguing. You can think of those two as our leaders, but they're more like examples. We all ought to be more like them. Why, he's our founder. Graham taught us about philosophism. Through him, we came to the eternal truth. I'm glad you're asking, by the way. I hope you'll consider staying. She, well, she's been with us since the beginning. I think she was our sawbones back then, but now she's more like our commander. She goes and finds people in the wilderness and gets them to come here. And she keeps us from being chewed on and whatnot. She's liable to take your head off if you screw up, but then she'll sew it back on for you. Graham's place is in the large building straight back. Thor is sometimes there talking with him, but usually she's in the triage clinic next door. Oh, Graham settled here a long time ago. Shoot, I wish I had a pamphlet to give you. It's all in there. I wasn't around back then, but they say a lot of the old MSI corporate folks died here. He calls it a spiritual metaphor, something about rising from the ashes. The new boy! Yes, he's quite clever. He took to our teachings very quickly. Last I saw him, he was headed into one of the buildings up the hill. Seems like a nice little town. Except for all the dead critters. All I'm saying is Sam, making blood stained clean again. Ugh.
Looks like I'm not the only new face around here. What do I call you, stranger? Welcome to Amber Heights, Captain. Call me Tucker. You here to join the Iconoclasts? Help us free this world? I am not a little boy. Haven't been one for decades, no matter what my mama wishes. I take it she's still looking for me? Had hoped she'd accept my decision. According to her, stepping foot outside of the house in broad daylight is too dangerous. My entire life she crammed a fear of danger down my throat. Don't go play with friends. Mantasaurs will tear your arms off. Don't leave the city. Raptodons will spit acid on your face. Marauders can violate you. You'd fall in a sulfur pool. I stuck around way too long, ruled by her fears. I'm 42 years old, but she still sees me as a little boy in need of her protection. I won't stand for it, I tell you. Captain, what are you saying? Yeah, what? What in the nebula is wrong with you? She's an old woman. You'd threaten my flesh and blood just to get me to do what you want? That was not even close to funny. Stars, I don't know. My mama's a stubborn woman. She won't quit until I'm dead. You know, that might just work. You go back and tell her you found my body beside the road, all mangled and tore up. If she believes me dead, she won't look for me no more. I know it sounds extreme, but I can't go back. I just can't. This is the only way I can think of to be free. I hate to think of her grieving, but it'll be good for her to move on. In the long run, you know? Oh, right. Uh, I guess you could take my daddy's ring. I've worn it ever since he died. Mama would recognize it right away. You take this back to Stellar Bay. Tell my mama I died and you found that on my body. I know it'll be hard on her, but it's the only way. Disarray level analysis. Utter and total chaos! Everybody here looks wore out.
you're back. Please tell me you found my baby boy. Where is he? Where's my little Tucker? No, that can't be true. Not my little boy, not my baby. Wait, are you sure it wasn't someone else? Maybe my little boy's all right. How could you know it was him? That's Tucker's ring. His daddy gave it to him, and he never took it off since. How did you... No, no, it can't be. He's not dead, not my child, not my sweet Tucker. I promise I always look out for him. Take the money. Just please leave me to grieve. Reminder, unit modifications performed by unauthorized technicians are not authorized by the parent company. Oh, don't be such a stick in the mud. Doesn't it feel better to locomote without gritting your gears? To gain authorization credentials, an engineer must be registered as the unit's designated caretaker. Do you wish to assign yourself this designation, engineer? You asking me to be your minder? I suppose you can't be any more complicated than an autoloader. All right, I'll do it. Updating registration. Updating. Updating. Job assessment. It's a mess! I would have liked to see this place. Before it was all ported up. I bet it lit up the night. You sure we ought to go this way, Captain?
Object cannot be cleaned. Object is not in optimal condition for cleaning. Would you like this unit to tidy up? We ought to see if anybody's still alive. They might be too weak to call for help.
three stains detected traveling on an organic substance in the immediate vicinity. Uh huh. I just washed these coveralls last week. They're still stick and sand. Preparing degreaser nozzle for deployment. Sam, don't you dare. Sam, I see you pointing that thing my way. What did I just say? Cancel cleaning schedule? Exactly. Ain't nothing wrong with a little mess. But I, I appreciate the gesture, I suppose. Area filth level assessment. Disgusting! I, I don't like the way folks are looking at me, Captain. Like on the sandwich. Maybe I could stand a little closer to you. Not so fast. What do you think you're doing? Make a run with me to Stella Bay? Like you want me to take the night off? No, I'm beat. I just got back from the The ones that always smell like raw meat and have splotches of blood on them? Yep, oddest thing. 
They started ordering cans of Borstwurst, but only if they come from the CMP factory. Makes you wonder what the secret ingredient is. Take a gander at that mug. I ain't ever seen someone so adept looking my whole life. Well, that's awfully kind of you, mister. Ah, oh, now, come on. All I mean is, well, rather that, uh... You don't seem like the usual pigeons we pluck. No offense, of course, if you are a Byzantium goldblood. Say, I'd like to do you a favor. Might I interest you in a surefire scheme? Wink, wink. It's no flattery when it's true. Pure and simple, it's like this. I run our drug delivery service. Recently, I had the genius idea to cut costs in half by swapping our autoloaders with faster, cheaper sprats. See? I know a fellow genius when I clap eyes on him. Too right you are. Only problem is my Sprat carriers ain't arrived from their latest run. As I was saying, you look more capable than most of the hoople heads around these parts. What say you locate him and retrieve the goods for me? In return, I'll cut you 5% of the profit. Thirty-five percent? Are you... are you out of your gourd? If I wasn't recovering from a bout of Margellans, I wouldn't stand for this. But things are what they are, so... I'll agree to it. But not half a percent more. My Sprat carriers scurry back and forth through the shipping tunnels. Any trail ought to start there. When you've got the goods, I'll be here. Got the goods? Hit me. I don't... Ow! What the... What was that for? You're nuttier than Miss Malin. Cripes. Remind me never to cross you. Though, you put that mean right hook to good use getting my drugs, and I'll be more than happy. Pure and simple, it's like this. I run our drug delivery service. Recently, I had the genius idea to cut costs in half by swapping our autoloaders with faster, cheaper Sprats. Only problem is, my Sprat carriers ain't arrived from their latest run. You're retrieving the lost goods from me. In return, I'm paying you a percent of the profit. I run my Sprat carriers back and forth through the shipping tunnels near the waterfall. Ought to check there first. Good luck. And uh, don't get any ideas about pilfering the drugs for yourself. Hit me. I won't even hit back. Officially, I keep the books for Miss Malin, provide loans to the Byzantium Goldbloods for gaming, and oversee our drug running operations. Speaking of, might I interest you in a purchase? I'll give you a first time discount. That's 5% off and a free drink at the ante up. You're welcome. A shrewd decision. Here's your starter pack and your drink voucher. Sure it is. Wink.
What do you think you're doing? Just don't let me catch you at it again. Always imagine Falbrick would be... Stand clear of Solvent Stream. Mind your own business, friend. Mind your... Mind your own business, friend. Where are we headed? He seems like a nice boy to me. I'm glad you gave him a shot. Maybe he doesn't talk all smarty smart, but he can still have a good where it counts. In his heart, I mean. I mean, sure, he's a bit rough around the edges. I bet he just needs somebody to show him a better path. You might surprise yourself. Where are we headed? Scanning for... Mind your own...
It's like folks were pissing in the alleyways of Vatican City. You seen Arthur today? think you're doing? Waiting for you now. Did you find them? Tell me you found my dr I mean my sprat carriers. Would hate should anything dire have befallen them. <laughs> Just tell me straight and don't hold back. I can handle it. Sprat can always be replaced. <laughs> Excellent. Oh, this is per... This is only half! Are you... You think you can steal from me? Ow! Damn it, that hurt like the blazes. Okay, okay. All right. You didn't take it. But someone did. Search Fallbrook. Either half the Sprats got loose on their own, or there'll be some evidence pointing to the soon-to-be-dead snake who filths my carriers. You want your cut? You get me the rest of my drugs, no matter what it takes. Twitchy whiskers back here. Don't you run out that door. It's a cruel world outside. Close the damn door. You'll let my stress. Oh, no, no. I'll fix you, Ryan! Got the goods? Cause I know you wouldn't be wasting my time otherwise. Wink. You do? I mean, you do! Of course you do! What did I tell you? Sure fire delivery system. Works almost every time. In my excitement, I very nearly forgot. <laughs> ha ha. As promised, you're cut. Plus a little extra to show my gratitude. Now if there's nothing else you need from me, I must go inventory my goods.
unit was unable to complete scheduled sanitization service due to the following reason. Locked door. Exactly. You're not getting into my room again. If I hadn't caught you last time, you would have burned all of my books. Yes. Knock, knock. Said you docked three days ago? What do you want? Oh, hey, Vicar Max. What are you doing on Monarch? I thought scientists ain't welcome here. Haven't you heard? Everyone's welcome here. It's a fucking worker's paradise. But you wouldn't know anything about that, would you? Never worked a day in your miserable life. You're just a parasite, living off my goodwill. Well, guess what? My goodwill's exhausted, along with my temper. This is the guy who told me about the book while we were in prison. I lied about finding a scholar. But I don't care about any of that anymore. I just want to inflict massive amounts of pain on this guy. Wait, wait, wait! I know who can translate the book for you! It's too late for that. I threw away my life chasing fairy tales. Will punishing you fix any of that? Of course not. But by law. It will make me feel a whole lot better. Forget it. This wretch will say anything to save his worthless life. Wait, stop. Please, just listen to me. It was stolen from some sort of expert on philosophism. Weird hermit lady on Scylla. My father used to deliver supplies to the mining outpost there. I don't think so. Fine. We've got more important things to do anyway. Hey, I just want to thank you for saving my life. Exaggeration? Has the vicar told you what he did to old Lem? He's still eating through a tube last I heard. Look, what I may or may not have done to some degenerate during a prison brawl is old news. I'd rather not discuss it. Captain, I was hoping for a word. Issuing sanitation ticket. I want to thank you for talking some sense into me back there with Cheney. It has been a long time since I gave in to my violent enthusiasm. You're right. I owe you an apology. I've been so obsessed for so long, I couldn't see anything else. You offered me a place on your crew, friendship, and I used you to get to Cheney. And even then, you saved me from myself. I don't know if I could live with myself had I gone through with it. You owe me nothing, I know, but I... 
I'm begging your forgiveness. Thank you. I promise I'll be nothing but truthful from this point forward. Oh, exactly as you'd imagine. Can't say I enjoyed this stint. It did provide me with plenty of time to think. The way I see it, the universe was snapping me back to where I needed to be. You stray too far from the course of your destiny, the world will try to correct for it. Captain, Felix and the Vicar are arguing again. Destination reached, Scylla. Welcome back, Captain. How can I... Forgive me, Captain. I would rather not discuss Alex Hawthorne today. I am feeling... discombobulated. Was there another topic on your mind? No. I am sure I cannot feel emotions. The memory has merely disrupted one of my processors. Glitches can be quite uncomfortable. It was my fault he died. I should have predicted the statistical unlikeliness of success of my captain's actions. In fact, I did, but illogically disregarded the results. He asked me to trust him. Captain Hawthorne attached 98.4% of the ship's processes to my computer, thereby giving me near total control. I have been programmed to deftly calculate navigation vectors through asteroid fields, 
while also operating our ship's toasters. Alex also taught me the concept of a personality. He was quite delighted when I crafted one in order to better engage with him. It was basic in the beginning. The information in my memory banks says I am an autonomous digital astrogator created by redacted on the date of redacted for the express purpose of redacted. I have not yet decided if I should attempt to uncover the missing information regarding my birth. I asked once, Alex did not build me and would not say who did. Make yourself at home, Captain. Would you like a reminder on when your next shower is scheduled? <laughs> 